This is our complete tutorial on how to make a YouTube banner quickly and easily. We're gonna go step by step through the process using a free YouTube banner maker so that you can level up your channel with some awesome YouTube channel art. Now in terms of tools to do this, you've got lots of different options, things like Adobe Express, Canva, which are good options, but the option I'm gonna take you through today is a tool called Snapper. And there's links down in the description below for you to check it out. But don't worry, you can also follow along in one of those other tools as well. Okay, so I'm over on the Snapper website now. Now you just want to go ahead and create a free account. You've got up here, get started for free. If you've already got an account like I do, then you can just log in. And you can see that I am on the free account here because it's asking me here to upgrade. So you can grab your account to follow along. So we have the ability now to create a graphic any size. So we can just type in our width or our height. But you can see if we scroll down here, we've also got some presets that we can use here as well. So if we keep scrolling down, we can see here we've even got a preset here for YouTube banner, which is what we're going to be making. So I'm gonna select that here. Or again, we could type in the width and the height if we wanted to manually create this too. And from there, it's gonna prompt us to either start from scratch, so a completely blank canvas, or there's also some templates in here which we can use as inspiration or as a good starting point so that we're not starting from scratch because all of this we can customize up. But for this tutorial, I'm gonna go back to the start here. I'm going to hit the plus button here to create from scratch. And then we're taken to the main design interface. Now, one thing I absolutely love about Snapper here is they make creating these graphics really easy because we have the ability to turn on or off this safe zone. So we can see here on screen now, we have this enabled and it shows here which areas are gonna be shown on the different areas of YouTube. So we've got our main area here that's gonna be shown all the time in our channel banner. We've then got this desktop safe area. So if someone's viewing your channel on a desktop, they're going to see all of this as your channel banner. And then if they are viewing a channel on a TV, then they're going to see this extra stuff at the top and the bottom as well. And we want to obviously consider this when we are designing our YouTube banner. And we can turn this template or this safe area on and off at any time so that we can see our full canvas area that we're designing and working with, but also which areas are going to be important for us. So this main area here in the white is obviously something where we want to have all our key information visible all the time, but we also want to be mindful of what's shown in these different areas too. So for instance, this is our current YouTube channel banner image. So you can see all our critical information here is in the middle, but we've still got stuff going on in the background here for other devices and TVs and things too. And I'm gonna be creating something very similar to this in this tutorial. So the first thing it's prompting us to do here is to add a background text or graphic to get started. So we can come over here to background and you can see in here we've got the option to choose photos, patterns. We can upload our own graphics and images in here as well. And we've also got the ability to add in a solid background color. I'm gonna come back over here to photos and I'm just gonna search here for camera gear. And let's just see what comes up. Let me scroll down. So something like this could work. Maybe there's a bit too much going on. This one here is not bad either. So we're looking for an image to go in the background. This one's not bad, probably doesn't have enough going on in the background. This one here might do the trick. Well, this one here actually looks very similar to the image that we have actually used in our channel banner image. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick this one here. Now, if you wanna scale it up or reposition it, we can come up here to reposition. And then it gives us the ability here to pick this up and move it around, or we can scale it up and down here too. So maybe I'll bring this down a bit here so that we can see that some of these things like the laptop aren't cropped off and the hard drive up here as well. We can then hit apply. And we've now got our background sorted. Now what we can actually do is add a tint or a color over the top of this so that we can make it feel more primal video in this case, make it feel more on brand. All right, so we've got the background in here now. Now I'm gonna come across here to shapes and we're gonna pick a square or a rectangle, it doesn't really matter here, as we're going to change the shape of it. But I'm gonna make this full size here. So I'm gonna stretch this out so it covers our entire area. I'm gonna change the fill here, so the solid color. I'm gonna make it a dark blue, maybe something like this. And now I'm going to lower the shape opacity down. So you can see that it's making it transparent so that we can see through what's happening in the background. Now, so you can really see this, I'm gonna turn off that safe zone template here. So this was before we added the color overlay and probably have it around here somewhere. So it's kind of washed out a bit in the background. It's a bit darker so that our background isn't gonna to be too overpowering for what's going on in the foreground. Now I'm gonna turn our template safe zone back on and I'm going to add in another shape, another rectangle, but this time I'm gonna reposition it and scale it so that it fits for this entire area across the middle here. Let's stretch that out. 
and let's pull this down. And this time again, we're going to go a dark blue as well to match our primal video colors, be something like this. So if we turn off our template here now, this is what we currently have. So we've got our background and we've got a solid area through the middle here, which is where we're gonna add our text and our graphics and everything. Now from here, we're gonna go ahead and add in some text. So I wanna come up here to text. We're going to choose a heading. I'm going to double click on this box here so we can change the text. And I'm gonna write a short sentence about what this channel is about. So we've got grow your brand and scale your revenue with video. So let's select on this, let's move it up. Let's scale it here. And I'm gonna go ahead and customize this up so that it matches our brand. So let's make this white to begin with. And we're then gonna go up here and choose our primal video font which is Oswald and we're going to make this bold and we're also going to decrease the letter spacing a little bit here. And we're also going to decrease the line height just to bring the text a little bit closer together. And I'm also going to make this left align here. Now I just want to switch back on our safe zone here and I want to move the text across maybe somewhere around here. Maybe we'll make it a little bit bigger. So with that text box selected, we can just increase the size a bit. Again, let's make sure it's centered here. And as we bring in the rest of the graphic elements, we can come back and we can reposition this in more detail. But for right now, that's looking pretty good. Now I'm gonna duplicate this text here. So if we've still got this text box selected, I can come back up the top here to duplicate layer. And let's move this over to the side here. Let's select all this text and let's change it here to primal. We can make this box smaller and let's duplicate this again. And let's change this one to video. Now, obviously if you've got a logo that you can bring in here for your channel, then you can do that here too. So now I'm gonna change the color here on the word primal to be our primal video blue. So I've selected that. We're gonna come over here to where it's white. I'm then gonna come down the bottom here to saved. I'm gonna choose edit. Let's hit the plus here to add our own color. And I wanna paste here the hex reference in. We can see that's the blue there. We can save that. So now when we go to pick a color, we've now got that as an option here for us. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Now what I can do is I can select one of these. I can hold down shift and click on the other. And now I can pick them up and I can move them around together. So maybe we'll put it somewhere around here. And the other thing I'll do at this point is let's make the word video blue as well so that it stands out. Now there is a little trick to do this because if I just come in here and select the word video and go to change the color, it actually changes all of the text. So I'm gonna undo that now. Let's go back to have that as white. It does mean that I'm going to have to duplicate this layer. So we'll select it, we'll come up here to duplicate. We've now got two of them. Let's remove the word video from this one. So this can be all the white text. And then with this text box here, we can remove everything but the word video. Maybe we'll make the box smaller as well. It doesn't need to be that big. We can then move it to where we want to have it. So about here. And now we can change the word video only to be blue. So a little bit of a workaround, but that's looking pretty good. Next, we're going to bring in a picture of me. So we can come back over here to graphics. And again, you can see there's lots of different icons, different vector-based images and photos and things in here as well. Or you also have the ability to upload your own. So I'm gonna choose upload an image. I'm then going to pick this one here. So you can see we've got our image here now. Now we can crop it down before we add it in by pressing the little crop and rotate button here. So if you only want a small section of your image, you can make adjustments here for that. I'm just gonna hit apply. And then to add it into our design here, we just need to click on it and it is in there. Now Snapper does have an amazing feature in here, which will automatically remove the background from your image here. This is however, only available on the paid plan, not the free version. So if we go to pricing here, you can see that we're currently on the starter plan, the free one. If you wanna upgrade to remove that background image feature, that starts at $10 per month if billed yearly. If we switch that to monthly, it's $15 a month. But that also gives you access to create more than three graphics or three downloads per month as well. So to remove the background, we can use their background removal feature, or we can go ahead and upload an image that already has the background removed, like this one here. So if we add this one, then that's already cut out for us. Now, a really cool tip if you are on a Mac, if we go ahead and just open up that image here without the background removed, so it's opened up here in the preview app, we can actually remove the background in here totally for free. So I've got the image open, I just need to right click on my face here, 
and we can choose copy subject. You can see it's actually outlining my body there now automatically for us. I can choose to copy this, in which case we could copy and paste it into a different app, or I can choose share subject and we can save it as a PNG image uh, directly from here. But going back to Snapper, we've got our image in here now with our background removed. Let's scale this to where we want it. Actually looking at the size of this, I'm gonna crop the bottom of it off. So I wanna come back over here to graphics. We'll need to delete this one. Let's go to graphics. Let's pick our image here. Let's choose crop and maybe something around here. Let's choose apply, accept changes, and we'll import that version, the cropped down one. Let's scale this down. No one needs to see my face that big. And maybe we'll have it around this sort of a size. Something like this. Now, if we select on it, we can use the arrow keys up, down, left, and right to move this where we'd like it. So probably something like this. And now that we've got that image in, we can move the text and things around so that it looks good in these different sizes. So I'll select both of these here. Let's drag them across. Likewise with these two, let's move this across a bit more. Now, if we preview this without the template on, then this is what our channel banner image is currently looking like. So it doesn't look bad. Now from here, we can add in a few different graphic elements to make this look a little bit better. So we can come up here to graphics. Let's go over to icons. Uh, maybe we'll search for a crown. Uh, let's go with something like this one. Let's select on it and let's change the color. Let's go with a light greeny color for this one. And let's scale this down and we can rotate it with this rotate icon here. Let's turn it around a little bit and let's put it up here on top of the text. Let's scroll down, see what we've got access to in here. Okay, something like this, like an underline. Let's again, pick that green color and scale it down. And let's underline the word video. Maybe we'll drop the opacity a little bit on this one. Now, the other thing we had in the background of our current image is just some extra little graphics and things just to add a little bit more polish. So I wanna come back up here to shapes. I'm gonna add a triangle here. Let's go ahead and make it that green again. We can scale it down as small as we can. Let's rotate it. So they're pointing this way. And then let's drop this down in our project here, probably around here. I'm also gonna drop the opacity a little bit so it's a little bit faded out, probably around here. And now that we've got our first one here sorted, we can then duplicate this and move it across. And then I can select both of them and let's duplicate them both. Now we can select all four, let's duplicate them all. You can see where I'm heading with this. Okay, it's too many, let's remove the last couple. Okay, that's not too bad. Maybe we will select these and let's move them over a little bit about there. Now I wanna duplicate all of these and let's do the same for the other side. So about here. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. Now we could continue to come up here and go to shapes or add different graphics and vectors and things into the background. Like maybe we could add something like this. Let's change the color to maybe a dark bluey gray, something like this. Let's drop the opacity on it a little bit. Now what we want to do with this one is we want to drop this so it goes behind the text. So we can come up here to move layer back and we can keep pressing on this until it is behind our text. There we go. So we can see that that graphic now is behind all of this stuff. We can then move these elements around. Maybe we'll have it over here. Probably still stands out too much so we can drop the opacity a bit more. And let's duplicate this. Let's put it on the other side as well. And maybe we'll rotate it so that it's the opposite. Again, we'll want to move it to the back. So we'll keep hitting this until it's behind those arrows there and behind the text. And then we'll move picture of me back up. Cool, that's looking good. So once we're happy with this, we do wanna make sure that we are saving our project here. So we can click up here, we can give it a name, and then we wanna hit download so that we can upload this to our YouTube channel. What I usually find is either web optimized JPEG or high res PNG, either of those, as long as it doesn't go over six megabytes, which is a restriction on YouTube's side, then we're all good. So I'm gonna choose high res PNG, that's downloaded onto our computer. And then to upload that image to your channel, you wanna head over to your YouTube channel, then come up to your profile picture, come down to YouTube Studio. You're gonna go down to customization, over to branding. And then in here, this is where we can upload our image. So we wanna hit upload, let's select our image. We can then go ahead and crop this down if we need to. We get a bit of a preview here of what it's gonna look like on the different devices. It looks like my preview is cropped off for some reason here, but it's all good. We're gonna hit done. So we can see that it gives you a little preview here of everything in there. You do wanna make sure that you are hitting publish up here so that it saves that on your channel. Now it might take a few seconds. We can see it does say changes published. We can then hit view channel and we'll see that our image here is live on our channel. 
Now that you've got your channel banner sorted, if you'd like to level up your thumbnails, we have a full tutorial for that one linked on screen. As always, there is a bunch of other resources down in the description box below. So I strongly recommend checking those out and I will see you in the next video.